Hello, it's Helen Godden here and I'm busy working on my latest quilt. This is the one that's called Elizabeth's Lost Dress. But someone online has asked me about advice on using metallic thread. So I thought I'd share with you whatever knowledge I have um, from lots of experience of using gold metallic thread. Well, any metallic, but I do particularly like my gold. The basic thing is when it comes to metallic thread, you do have to buy a good quality one. That is the main thing that has to happen. Now, I do tend to use um, superior threads because they are extremely good quality, but I'll show you what I'm looking for in a metallic thread. So what we're seeing here is lots of fine twists of that thread. Basically, your metallic thread is a polyester core wrapped with tinsel. So it's not remotely like normal thread at all. So it does behave differently. So what you need to look at is, is, the, is the twist. Is it quite tight? Is it quite even? And does the thread feel smooth? Okay, there's some you can get that the very first time you even touch it, it feels lumpy, bumpy, and it kind of has, has kinks in it. Well, you know that that's going to give you a problem, okay? The other thing to do is to um, get the end of your thread and run your fingers along it a few times like this and see if that starts to unravel. Now, that's about five times. It is just now starting to unravel, okay? I don't know if you can see that. Okay, but that's not bad. Some of them, if you just touch that once, it literally just goes twang, like a palm tree or something. And so that's going to be a thread that's going to misbehave. Okay, generally speaking, you're going to put a metallic needle in your domestic machine. Uh, and the most important thing is to make sure you've got the right size eye of the needle. Okay, um, so that it, it is uh clearing the hole nicely and, and moving through so what happens with a metallic needle is it has that extra um groove in it so that the thread actually is within that groove so that when it's punching the hole through the fabric uh, there's less stress on the actual metallic thread okay so that's why you have to have that metallic needle now in the bobbin i'm going to always use a bobbin thread a really fine thread uh, so this one's a superior thread so it's called um, bottom line uh, yeah, and so that's been shaved and it's really fine. So that means that it's going to be able to sink up into the back of the quilt a lot more easily, which allows the metallic to sit on top of the quilt, not being pulled down so much to that bobbin thread. Okay, so I'm going to possibly loosen the bobbin of my machine if I'm having trouble so that I can then loosen the tension on the top thread. If we can have the bobbin be a bit looser, it means we can still have balance of top and bottom thread if the top is a bit looser. Okay, they don't have to be both tight. They can both be just that little bit looser. But what we're looking for is that balance between the top and bottom thread so that you won't get any of the red popping on top and you won't get your gold uh, constantly breaking. Okay, so if anything, you're probably going to loosen your tension, perhaps on the bobbin and more than likely on your top thread. Just to give this kind of gold metallic thread the benefit of the doubt, it's not even cotton, you know, it's not even a normal thread. So it is going to be a bit um, fussier. So those of you that have got your domestic machines with an auto tension, I would suggest touch that dial and reduce it. Okay, your machine cannot possibly know that you are now sewing metallic thread. So adjust that dial, don't just leave it on auto. And that way you'll be able to get really good tension where this sinks in without bringing the bobbin thread up and without breaking this constantly. So that's my suggestions for the gold thread. Uh, you can see here, I'm just about finished working on this one. Here's this beautiful lily block in the middle. So these designs I'm doing are actually all based on Elizabeth I, a dress of hers. They found an altarpiece with these amazing embroidered designs on it. And on closer inspection, they realized the altarpiece was repurposed had been made out of something that already existed and the more that the historians researched it they found um, this painting of Elizabeth the first and there in the painting she is wearing the fabric that is in this altarpiece so it was this lost dress that appeared in this painting which is a you know portrait and then it appeared as an altarpiece so that's on display in Hampton Court in London and I went and saw that last year and the designs and the embroidery was incredible. So I have reproduced those designs in this quilt. And that's what will be a new pattern very soon 
called Elizabeth's Lost Dress. So stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, uh, get some practice with your quilting with metallic thread. Because if you're going to do this quilt with me, uh, we're going to use a lot of metallic gold. So there you go. Okay, thanks very much for listening. Education and inspiration from HelenGordon.com. See you later.